drop her off there. It's been going pretty good so far, I think. Party is getting itself organized. And really, it's time to head back to Athcutla and see what's been bugging Yan's family so much. I would obviously be concerned. I mean, you did explain it, but uh, it's a little vague. Additional investigation is probably warranted. All right, Mazzy. Well, uh, you know, it was obviously good uh, spending time with you, but this seems like a decent time to part ways. Kind of how to leave you with these mementos here. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna have to part for now. Great working with you again. See you later, sweetie. Are you sure that you wish me to leave? There is still much good that we need to accomplish in this place. I think it's best that we go on alone for this time period, but thanks for coming along, Mazzy. I should have liked to stay, but as not to be, I shall return to my home and trade meet. If you have need of me again, I shall be happy to join with you again. Farewell. And ta-da, there she is. And it updated our world map for whatever reason. Not really sure why, but it did. And now the party is back down to five again. As you will. Of course! And actually, people are a little bit wounded. We don't have any healing spells. You need. At the ready now, do we? Ooh, that's actually something the party should do before leaving the city. Is go on over to the Temple of Joaquin of and stock up on healing supplies if that's at all possible. I do believe Carrot already bought that belt of inertial barrier, yeah. And there were a few other neat items at the merchants in the city. Maybe we should double check them before we go. I mean, not exactly, you know, make a, a career out of it, but. Oh, let's put the flashbangs on. Who knows? That might be fun. See what he can do with those. But yeah, that might seem like a good idea, all things. Ready considered. and able. I don't think the smithy has anything the party would want. Whatever Although, I can do to help. We can always double check. That's why I remember they might have some useful scrolls. It seems kind of odd that the smithy would have that, but. It's trade me. What can you do? Just name what you want. Of course! Certainly, take a look at me wares, he says. Lots of plus one weaponry. Plus one weaponry, potions. A few scrolls. Lower resistance. Does Yen know that spell? I'm gonna have to check. What does Oracle do? Cancel all illusion phantasm spells at fifth level or lower in an area. Hmm. Protection from magic energy. 100% for invulnerability to all magic based attacks such as magic missile or Abidazine's hollered wilting. Lasts for one turn per level. Hmm. Mislead. Always a fun spell. Pierce magic. That might be a good thing to have. Pierce magic. True sight. Oh wow. Kared could actually buy the robe of the good arch magi if he really wanted to. Armor class 5, magic resistance, and saving throws. But shitty. It is a lot of money, but the party's also saved up a lot of money as well. Hmm. Hmm. Why not? We're here. And, uh... I haven't been this pleased with a group of folks since the Cormirians sent the price of turnips Ooh. through the roof during the Onion Famine. That looks really fancy, and it really helps his armor class, too. And he gets magic resistance and bonuses to saving throws. Awesome. As for the Knave's Robe, eh, he should probably sell that. Seems kind of redundant at this point. Can Minsk even contain it? No, not really. Yeah, I guess Carrot will sell it, then. Robe of the Good Arch Magi. Oh, and it even comes with a hood. Now he's looking fancy. I like it. Okay. I'd say that's enough. I wouldn't dream. Binge shopping for the time being. Oh yes. I had forgotten that was there. So uh, 
Apparently Carrot had too. Oh, 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 and the, or the original reason we actually came over Just here. Just as I thought! To go to the temple and maybe buy some healing supplies before the party left. Considering a bunch of assassins have been after him, actually getting a hood probably makes a lot of sense for Carrot. Anything to try to make him uh, Onward, then. a little bit more difficult spot. To the task at hand. I wonder if it actually does show his helmet when he puts on this. It does here. Ah, it does show his helmet. Ha ha ha, that's cute. Awesome. like to see your services. Well, I don't really have any more of those. Oh, restoration scrolls, that's right, we need more of them. Buy both. Ray's dead, we don't really need. Oceans of Genius would probably be a good investment. Oh, I'm just gonna buy one for now. In case it is needed. Um, hmm. Restoration scrolls, we'll just stash those here. We never actually did go through here and decide which of these scrolls we wanted to keep. Um, I mean, I know we know Minor Sequencer. Polymorph Feather I'm not sure about. This one has just a bunch of scrolls we could use up for various useful purposes, and this one just has one scroll in it, which I really think is kind of silly, so we'll take it out and put it in there. Polymorph Feather, does he know this? Now he does. Minor Sequencer. Um, yeah, of course he does. Um, well, we'll just hold on to that for the time being. Well, they don't have any more healing potions. They want to have some cheap healing? Oh, there we go. He's got some... Oh, actually, he's got plenty. What are you doing holding out on people there, Yan? Share the wealth. You got it, give it. Ah, uh, we are all of heroes. Course. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! I wouldn't dream of refusing. You are not old enough to know better. Keep your hand up. Yeah, well, let's just get out of here. You are not old enough to know better. Keep your hand up. And off we go. And since Yan's family lives in the slums district, I guess that's where the party will head. Whatever I can do to help. Group arriving at night. Actually, mm -hmm. just name what you want. I'm sure Greetings, we could. good customer. A pearl to you. Sell to some of these nice, good, honest storekeeps. Wink, wink. I don't think there's anything else though. All right. Of course. That done. Where the fuck <sighs> I think this is it's where Yan lives. It's time for turnip tea. Yeah. Yeah. A little rest will shake the stew from our eyes. And you must gather eyes. your party before venturing forth. Yes, we will, Kevin Michael Richardson, don't worry. And here we are at Yan's home. We once, I'm home. Mommy, Yan's back. Yan, did you bring me some candy? Calmly, little ones, I brought you each a flusher. I want to use it right now. Where's the cat? It's my cat, stupid. I get to flash him. Those are the twins, of course. The girl is Tat. The boy is Tot. They are my youngest cousins. Lantig's children. Where is this Glandig? He's most likely working in the mines. My mother watches his children when he's away. They're actually quite impoverished since his wife died. These tales are best kept for another time. Follow me! I must speak with my mother! 
How do you do? A pleasant day, yes? It's good to see you, Yan. Well, here, let me think of my good old Jewish woman voice. One moment. Let me think about that. Oh, Yan, it's good to see you. You don't stop to see your old mother anymore. I have to send your no good cousins out to find you. I'm sorry, Ma. The turnip trade is a demanding mistress. Not so demanding as your own mother, my boy. You've been in trouble, I suppose. Of course not, Ma. I've been very good. Why look at the fine bunch of people I'm traveling with. Hmm. If you say so. What's going on, Ma? Bilu made it count quite urgent. Lissa's been staying with us for a while. Her daughter, too. We just thought that you might want to know. She does seem to need your help with her parents passed on and all. Is she alright? Did he... did he hurt her? Lissa's not hurt. It's the little girl. I gave them your old room. The girl is sick and Lissa is with her. Why don't you go and talk to her? She's been waiting for you. Okay, Ma. I'll head upstairs immediately. Carrot, please come with me. You haven't seen Griffins about, have you? Oh, Yan, I've missed you. I wish I'd known you were coming today. I would have prepared a meal for you and your companions. I'm an awful mess. You look fine, Liz. You look beautiful. I missed you, Yan. You disappeared for a long time after the wedding, and when you returned, I hardly saw you at all. You should have come to visit me, Yan. I couldn't, Liz. I mean, I didn't want to intrude on you and Valig. It wasn't my place to. I'm sorry, Yan. I've been terrible to you. Everything has come crashing down on me. Please forgive me, Yan. You don't have to apologize, Liz. I would do anything to make you happy. Tell me what happened. What's wrong with your daughter? She's hurt, Yan. I don't know what's wrong with her. She just lies in bed staring at the wall. Won't even eat. Please heal her, Yan. She's just a little girl. When did this start? It started a few months ago before it ended with Valig. He was always a cruel father and hard on Yela. He beat her if she did anything he didn't like. Someone has rattled the little one's brains. Mm, I know how she feels. If this was done on purpose, he deserves a mighty kick in his posterior, at the least. Did this happen after that bastard beat her? I don't know, Yan. Can you help her? She isn't physically harmed, Liz. It is her mind that has been injured. My magic can do nothing for this sort of thing. Have you spoken with Uncle Gerhardt? Yes, but he told me that you could help. Excuse me, Liz. Carrot, could you go to the basement and speak with my Uncle Gerhardt? Maybe find out what he knows about this illness. He's a bit eccentric, but he knows more than he lets on. I guess that would have ten days before Yela will die. Yeah, he's in the basement, you say, huh? Oh, well, yeah, we'll go talk to him and see what he knows. Thank you. I'll stay here with Lissa. I have to... It's hard to explain. I think I understand. I'll be back when I've found your uncle. Something you need? I wouldn't dream of re... And temporarily leaves the party. Now we're down to the four core. The pace we have set is <laughs> too much for me. I must rest. Carrot's getting tired. The four core roles. The wizard. The fighter. The druid or cleric. You know, the vine caster and the thief. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ready? Oh, yes. Well, let's talk to his relatives. I'm glad to hear that you're helping poor Yan. Who are you? My uncle Yan could whoop you in a fight. Yeah, maybe he could. You're a stranger. Kitty always poops in the turnip garden. Ma gets angry. Is that true, Kitty? He's got nothing to say in his defense. I guess this is just something Carrot will do. Other people don't need to come down. Just as I thought! Oh, that is a nice little turnip garden there. Hi there, Uncle Gerhard. I just came here to find some turnips, I swear! Who in the blazes are ye? Small noses, rancid smell. Mm, be ye gibberlings!
We're friends of your n uh, well, we, I should say I. I'm a friend of your nephew Yan. We're here to discover what you know of Yela's illness. We, Annie? He thinks I'd recognize me own nephew. Aw, oh, Uncle Gerhard, how could you treat your own nephew so? Shiver me turnips, it is you! Now run to the chicken and get me some sausages, laddie. Uh, the chicken? Chicken, chicken! Yes, the chicken! Go! Uh, yeah. Trying to find out about that. No, no, I'm not Yan. I I'm actually Carrot. I was just joking earlier. That boy's full of questions! True, true, true! Are you hungry? He thinks I've got some sausages under me bed. Uh, I'm fine, really. Do you have any idea what might be causing that little girl's illness? You've come about the girl, eh? Yes. Do you know anything about her illness? Tis a hurt of the mind. Only one rich in such powers can heal her. Uh, what are you talking about? Without focus, you shall never pass. To heal the jailer's mind, you own must be hail. Try once again. And then, uh, yeah, okay, so Carrie just goes through the shtick with him again. Where can I find such a person? The hidden is the one you seek. Go to Gista at her estate in the government district. She shall lead you to the hidden. Now, where's that sausage? The hidden, huh? And the gist of estate in the government district. Onward, Interesting. Then. Alright, everyone, I hope you're enjoying spending time talking with my Jensen. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what's going on here. Oh, hi there, Yan. To the I see from the look on your face that you've talked to Uncle Gerhardt. I should have better explained the situation. Gerhardt is a well, Gerhardt is a well known and respected physician and scholar. He had risen above the poverty that plagues this family so. As you have seen, he's no longer the same. About a decade ago, my uncle was hired to treat a rather unsavory fellow, a thief named Rolg. It's fairly obvious that Rolg was a high-ranking shadow thief. He had power and money. Two things are more than rare in Athkala without family connections. Rolg was also daring. There are places in this city where no sane man treads. Places in the bowels of the earth that have the most powerful drill clerics quaver with fear at the mere mention of their cursed names. Ralk set into motion the systematic plunder of these places. He was a modern man, not given to the superstitious fears of the plebeian masses. The story goes that Rolig was found in the old temple ball, gibbering and mad with fear. Uncle Gerhardt, an expert in odd conditions, was called to treat the ravaged man. As my uncle had learned through his studies, these afflictions can never be treated without knowledge of their cause. Since none but Rolg had survived the trip, my uncle made the foolish decision to, tr foolish decision to travel to these unholy places. The search of this knowledge. He left for the graveyard and the places of the profane that are known to lie beneath it. He was gone for months, and we thought him dead. Rolg was shipped off to the asylum that lies off of Amund's coast. Nearly a year later, Uncle Gerhardt returned to changed man. Something he'd seen on his travels left him quite unhinged, though hardly the mindless sack of flesh that Rolg had been. With this change came a strange ability that occasionally shows itself in Gerhardt's verbal ramblings. He's become a prophet of sorts. He predicts events, some small and some of portent. During the time of troubles, his gift was particularly evident. He seemed to know everything. He'd rage and stumble about the basement screaming of slaughtered gods and tumultuous magic. That's in the past. He has examined Yela, and, especially in his present state, he knows things. He told Lissa to bring me home, and I hope that he's given you some direction to how we can help this girl. Well, amongst the ramblings about sausages and chickens, he did have a few things to say. He said that for one to heal Jayla's mind, one must know one's own mind. He also mentioned something about seeking the hidden. The hidden, you say? Lissa mentioned this. It seems that Lady Gistov knows something of the man. You can find the Lady Gistov estate in the government district. 
Will you solve this mystery for me? I must stay with Lissa. Alright, Yan. This does seem important to you, and you are a, a good friend and a valued party member. So, yes, I'll try to find a hidden and a cure for Yela. Thank you, friend. Go well. I'll be here when you return. Yela's not eating, so I estimate you have ten days at most. As you will. We will do it immediately. Even if Carrot is exhausted, he's gonna push of course. push on despite that. It's just stopping is really not an option at this point. Although we do need to organize the party so that he is safe. I wouldn't um, dream of refusing. What would be a good formation for that. Um, maybe something more along the lines of... Where would the leader be? He's the off-color one. Maybe this one. Yeah, it's like a diamond formation with carrot at the back. It's perfect. Whatever I can do to help. So we have to go from the slums to the upscale district. While Carrot absently wonders what the heck he's gonna do with Karsamir. I mean, he really doesn't know any paladins. Let alone any paladins that would actually deserve such a powerful weapon. Alright, well, I suppose, uh. Should head to. Yeah, it was the government district. Which the party has been to. Not only when they. Uh, rescued, uh, gosh, what is her name? For the, the glory of Arm! The Drow. I, uh, for some reason I'm forgetting her name. Viconia. They rescued Viconia, helped Yan, and also bought a license to use a magic in the city from the Keld Wizards. Just name what you want. In the name of the Council, I am here to keep order! Ominous soldiers shouting, Halt! Drop your weapons and keep your hands and fingers where I can see them. Are you sure that some of them don't look like them? I ain't taking any chances. You saw what happened to the commander. Look at the way they're equipped. It could be them. At ease, soldier. I'll not have you running around accosting people on my watch. Sir, I was just making sure they were not a threat. These people are not who we are looking for, I am certain. We'll cause panic if we accuse everyone. You, have you seen anything suspicious or unnatural lately? Well, um, since we got back to the city, not to my knowledge, is there trouble here? Perhaps we could help. There have been reports of fighting in the streets at night, something to do with the supposed Shadow Thief Guild, and a rival. If you do see something, just keep your distance. I've already had uninvolved people go missing, and I don't need any more. Keep out of the streets at night, citizens. All the decent folk are asleep at those hours anyway. Alright, the ominous soldier's giving us a bit of a warning. Oh, in different estates. Oh, there's actually a Temple of Joaquin here as well. Is that this one? I think that's... yeah, this is the Temple of Joaquin. Perhaps the party can actually get a few healing supplies here. And perhaps buy some more 